name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today reading is the very, very harsh readings. Very fearful. You could see, you could hear the gospel of today. Wailul uh, Imagine if, uh, if God, uh, God is merciful, yeah, always. Uh, someone meet you in the day, every day say, woe to you. Wailul lakum. How do you feel? How do you feel that? أحس بإيه لما حد يقول لي كل يوم ويلك يا ويلك من اليوم اللي هتقف فيه قدام الله واو تو يو واو تو يو اف يو وان داي يو ويل ستاند ان فرونت اوف جاد وات ذيس مسج ويل تيل مي وات اي شود دو سم بيبل ويل تيك ات نيجاتيف اند فايت رايت ناس كتير هتاخد الموضوع ده وانت انسلتنج مي انت بتدعي عليا وناس تانية سام اذر بيبول تيك ات فيري بوزيتيف ليه بيقول لي الويل ليك انا عملت ايه؟ انا عملت ايه غلط؟ وات اي هاف دان رونج سو ذات ذيس مان ساي واو تو يو سو هير توداي از وي هاف هيرد ذا ريدنج فروم ذا بيجينينج ان ذا بوك اوف سينكساريوم توداي وي كود وي هير وي هيرد ذا The commemoration of Joel the prophet. Joel the prophet, one of the prophets came in the Old Testament. I will not speak about him, but I will speak about his message. Message of Joel, the whole book is three chapters. I, I, I pray that you, three chapters only. When you go back home, you have time, read the epistle or the message of your eel. Yu'il in Nabi, three chapters, very important. Joel is the, the book of the Holy Spirit. Joel saw, as we have heard, he saw the Holy Spirit came on the disciples, on the Holy Church, in the whole universe, to change carnal people to spiritual people. to change people who live in sin their whole life to a spiritual people waiting for the day of the Lord. This is the book, or this is the man who God sent him. God sent Joel to tell the people the sin which they live in. Rabbana ba'at yu'il al-Nabi ashan yu'illuhum كيف ياكم خطية والمسج دي لينا النهاردة ربنا بقول لنا كفاية ايه كفاية بقى تقل قلب كفاية قلبكم الجامد بيقول لي بقول لكم بيقول لكل واحد كفاية enough is enough this is what Joel say in, in his book so God's word so Joel when he came he came And he said, the Holy Spirit will come, burn the sin. Burn the sin. Ruh Al-Qudus Hayigi, Ya'arrafni al-Khatiyya al-Gawaya, We all li, ana ba'amil i-ghalat. If the Holy Spirit whisper every day in your ears, and he tells you, il-wail leak, لو فضلت في الخطيه واو تو يو اف يو ريمين ان سن ريموف ذا سن جو تو ذا لورد اسك فورجيفنس اسك ذا ذا لورد تو هيل يو فروم ذيس سن سو تو ميك ات كويكلي اي نو اتس ذا تايم از شورت ويز اس توداي ريبنتنس ان ذا بوك اوف جويل is not only for one person. Joel was encouraging the whole family to repent together. It is no benefit if I repent and I make it to heaven and the other household 
went to hell is not right. It's not right at all. We are responsible for one another. We are responsible for one another. يا جماعة إحنا كلنا في بيت واحد مسؤولين عن بعض مسؤولين عن توبة بعض مسؤولين إن إحنا كلنا كفاميلي نبقى أمام الله بلا عيب كلنا as family مسؤولين إن إحنا نكون زي ما قال كده على زكريا وقال صبات وزود بليم Don't say I'm, I carry my business only If you are in one family, you should care. You should be careful. You should be careful how much family living a holy life. This is what the Prophet Joel was really emphasizing and focusing on that as family, as one household. Are we together in the Lord? Or some of us are carnal. Some of us still far no god is encouraging all family to be united in holiness to be united in the word of god to be united in communion with god home and here and everywhere we go we are one family so this is one of the most important messages joel today uh, sent it to us or in his uh, memorial day or his remembrance All people live in evil. And Joel came and he told them, you should repent. If we go back to the first reading today, could see people, in the, in the first reading, they made something, people call it nowadays in the language of those today, crazy, crazy people. But this is, was a symbolic a symbolic about the work of the Holy Spirit in our days. When we look, when we look the first reading today in Babylon Epistle, you see how many people left their comfort zone and left their easy life and went to the wilderness, went too far, and no one could imagine. By faith, Abraham offered his son Who can tell that? Who can make that nowadays? This is to show us these people saw something abnormal. When I am filled with the Spirit of God, I do work for Him. Other people say, you are not normal. You are wrong. I don't care what people say outside. but I care about my relationship with God. I care that the Spirit of God leads my life. I care that the Spirit of God always working to convict and to correct and to remind me about the eternal life. I focus on that. I like that. Brother and sisters, we are in dark days. We are in dark days. People outside are in darkness. But thank God we have the enlightenment. We have the light inside us. We don't need to deal like the people outside. We hate to deal like the people who live in carnal life, fleshy life. This is not our ways. If we look here, Abraham, what he did, you say to him, Abraham, you are crazy. No, he's not. He knew, he saw ahead of time what Christ will do. He saw, what about me and you? Why we don't see things? Why we don't feel things like these people? Because we are weak in our relationship with the Spirit of God. We are very weak. Come, come, come and, and search your heart today. Look at your heart today. How much you are connected to His Spirit during the day. How much you give him room in your life every day. These people give God a space to work in their life. That's why you find Abraham did this work. Could you see Moses who lived in the palace of the king with servant, with slaves under his feet, 
washing his feet, washing his hand, making air for him, well, I don't know what else, giving him food, giving him drinks. Prince, prince, king, he left everything for God. He left, he know that God will lead him. He knows that God will lead his life. And he left everything and he carry, carry himself far away. I know the problem he did, despite the problem he did, but look at what happened, what happened to him, what God did for him. God prepared him to be a savior for the whole world, to be a savior. Let yourself, please, please, I beg you, leave yourself in the hand of the Spirit of God to shape you, to reshape you, to correct you, to fix you, to mold you. This is the work of the Holy Spirit, which we need eagerly. We need him to work in our daily life. Without the Spirit of God, we are in darkness, my brother and sister. Without the Spirit of God, we are away, 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 far away from God. So here, as an example, too much examples for us by face, by face, by face. It's not by face only. I, I am sure this is, was a glimpse, a small, a small appearance of the Holy Spirit in their life. What about me and you? We are a dwelling place of the Spirit of God. روح القدس هو اللي المفروض ليدز هو المفروض اللي يقود حياتي هو المفروض اللي ينظم حياتي أنا مش بدي له فرصة مش بدي فرصة الروح الله يعمل فيا مش بدي فرصة الروح الله يشتغل فيا يا جماعة ندي فرصة الروح الله ندي له كديس بطرس النهاردة يقول لنا سان بيتر سيتو أس تودي وي هاف أبروفيتك وورد وي هاف هيم we have the prophetic, prophetic word confirm us. We are confirmed in Christ. It's good if you do well. If it's good if you have the light, the light will shine on you every day. We have the Spirit of God. Spirit of God leads. Spirit of God confirm us in our love to God. This is one of the important reading in our church. We, he said here, we know that the, all prophecies, all the scriptures came from God. How much we honor that? How much we obey that? How much every time when I read his word, I say this is direct message from God. We take it lightly. We are not serious in our reading Bible, in our time with him. God is encouraging everyone today and he says to me and to you, the, the word which I sent to you, it is from my mouth. It's from my mouth to you. Take it seriously, please. Take it seriously. Take it and repent. Whole family need to repent together. I, I think this is, this is very important for us today. And if you go back, if you go down in the reading of St. Peter today, you find a lot of people Create envy, create, create uncleanness, create atmosphere of evil. Be away from that. Be away from all these things. And he said us to us also in his message today. God is just. God will judge everyone. God will judge everyone. God will judge everyone not repented. God will deal with everyone if you take your eternal life lightly. Take it serious. Here is the book. Here is the message. God will judge every one of us. True or false? God will judge or no? Allah هيحكم علينا ولا لا? هيحكم علينا. يبقى يا ريت نبقى وعيين. وعيين اللي في قلبنا ايه? وعيين اللي في دماغنا ايه? وعيين للطريق اللي احنا ماشيين في ايه? ربنا قال لم يشفق على العالم لم يشفق على العالم القديم لم يشفق عمل ايه 
Ramad Madini Ratay, Sadum Amura. He turned the cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, to ashes. We have the Spirit. We have God. Let us honor Him. Please, Gamar. Let us respect God in our dealings. Let's honor God in our life. Let us fear this day, fearful to be in the between the hand of God. This is the message of Joel today. I pray that we live with this message and we live repentance and we 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 or we act we act in a in a spiritual manner. We have we have the Spirit of God. Tell him, Spirit of God, lead my life. Correct me if I am wrong. Fix, correct. Encourage me, Lord, to live for you. Encourage me, Lord, to be in your side always. I pray that all of us to be in righteousness most of the time. I pray that all of us to be, to be in the side of Christ all the time. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.